In this video, we're going to learn about responsive design for mobile and tablet inside the Page Builder. One of the great features of the Page Builder is the ability to preview our page for different devices. If we head up to the top menu here, we can see we have tablet and mobile. So if we select tablet, we can see how the page responds to that breakpoint. So we can make sure that everything's stacking correctly, everything lines up nice and clean and make sure it's a good user experience. And then if we head back to the top menu and click mobile, we can do the same for mobile devices. Now there'll be many scenarios where you will want to edit uh, the content for the different devices. And we can do that right here with the page builder, which is great. So we can make changes at every different breakpoint for different devices. And those, those changes will stay for that particular device. So let's run through some scenarios here. Firstly, we've got a background image here on this hero block that looks great. It works perfectly on uh, desktop, on tablet, it centers a bit more, still works very nicely. But when we get down to mobile, the positioning isn't so great and it just doesn't work. So what we can do is just like we would on desktop, we can click block content and then background. And then we can click the little plus icon here and then the images button and up will pop our image library. So we'll head over to Unsplash for this demo and I've typed in desk. And what we wanna do here on mobile is just get something a little bit more uh, generic and simple so that the text will stay on top. So we'll go and pick uh, this classic image here of a coffee and a device. So we'll double click that, that will appear on our canvas. So the text is a little bit hidden here. So we can now play with the overlay and you'll see here we can drop the opacity and then come back to that blue similar to our desktop but we might just make that a bit darker so that we can we can get a touch of that image behind but the text is really uh, legible so let's just move that up somewhere around here and now just with this particular change that we've made if we have a look back on tablet the previous background image appears and the same for desktop. So you'll see here how we can start to make changes and provide a different user experience for every breakpoint, for every device. So let's go back and continue to play with this hero banner. We're seeing a lot of space here at the top and the bottom. And on mobile, we might want to make that a little bit smaller. So we'll again click this block content. We'll head over to layout. And we'll see here highlighted in yellow, we've got a couple of values here. So we might halve that for mobile and make that 100. And then again at the bottom, and we'll see a lot of that space uh, goes away and it's a lot, a lot nicer for mobile. So we'll head back to tablet and we'll see again that padding and that nice big padding appears on our bigger devices. And so you can do all sorts of things. If we head to desktop and let's say we wanna make this uh, heading text really big on desktop, we can just drag that up and make it somewhere around 60 pixels just for the purposes of this demo, even though that doesn't look great. And then we can head to tablet and that's gonna to be too big now. So we can just drag that down in tablet down to let's say 46. And then on mobile, it's gonna be way too big. So we can just drag that now down to, what have we got, something like 28. And it's a little bit scrunched up on mobile, so we can change the line height here. And again, if we go and review on our different devices, we've got a different experience happening at every different device, which is great. And then you can go through the rest of your page and make changes as you feel necessary. One uh, thing to be careful of is if you delete something, for example, if you say, well, I want to show this uh, icon on desktop, but I don't want to show it on my mobile. If you go ahead and delete that, that will delete at all breakpoints for all devices. So we don't want to do that. What we can do if we want to hide something is, let's say, for example, we want to hide this icon or even the whole block. We could select that block and we'll come here to layout and the display uh, class here and we can click that open and underneath display at the bottom you'll find the value none so we can select that and all of a sudden our icons are gone for mobile but if we head back to tablet they're still there and desktop 
they're still there as well. So we can head back to mobile and you'll see they've disappeared. And that's how we can ensure a really great experience across all device types, uh, customized for every different device and really make sure that you're building world-class uh, sales pages and user experiences.